Okay, going through the parts of the track, we have the Emacs 2 with its liquid stack patch from the Emulator 2. And the chords are very simple in the first part. It's just a D minor, G minor, and A minor. Using a limited part of the octaves here, just the upper part of the keyboard. No 7 through 9 here, just the plain D minor, G minor, A minor. I wanted to expand on the topic from my last video about going from one key to another within the section I'm playing or singing, the section of the song. And in this track I go from G minor to E flat and do some chords around that to get a lift. Right there. The chord says C minor 7, but you could also play the E flat with a C bass. Or just a regular C minor. And the E flat major 7, which I actually play, is also a way of getting a certain, a certain kind of uh, melancholic feel to it. And if you've watched my videos before, you know I have a, I have a strong favor for a melancholic feel to my tracks. And showing you again more slowly. The E flat major 7. E flat again. C minor 7. The F. G minor, E flat major 7, F, D minor, E flat, C minor, and I always go back to the A minor in this track, and that's changing the key again and gives sort of a, what I think is a Miami Vice feel to it. Okay, the second part. And at the end here I go to the kind of Stranger in Moscow type chords like Michael Jackson had. I hold the F note on each chord down right through to the C sus 4, suspended 4th, to get that tension. You get that really special tension by holding that F note in every chord you do during the down spiraling towards the ultimate A minor. It says D flat here, but you could also play the F minor with the D flat bass. If I were to play this live on a gig, I might change the chords from time to time just to add a different kind of mood. But it all goes down towards the E minor. That's kind of dark. So that's the second part of the track. I also change a little bit between the A minor 7 and C, where I use those two chords. It's the A minor 7, D minor. And there's the C. You can also change between A minor 7 and the C, and you get a different kind of vibe from both those chords, but both would work. There's also this major 7 feel to this part of the track, which adds to the melancholy. Oops, a little sound note there. 
And um, you might wonder why I didn't use the bass, uh, the Roland ST bass, more in the track than I did. I just play a couple of selected notes. And that's because the impact is so much bigger when using those um, type of sounds more sparingly in the track. So I only use those G and E flat F for the bass, except for the A uh, minor chord sometimes. I could have used the bass for uh, every note of this, this section, but it would take away from the impact. So a final tip in this session is use your favorite sounds and notes carefully. Don't overuse them and reap the benefit from the impact it has when used sparingly. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.